Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on simplifying our trig expression. Trig expression is different than trig equation. In that trig expression, there's nothing to solve. We're just going to simplify this. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this one as our regular fractions. We're going to find our common denominator, which in this case since this term and this term shares nothing in common, the common denominator is just the product of the two, right? So once we have that, and then this term, if we have 1 minus cosine x in the bottom, we have to multiply the same thing on the top. So the top becomes sine x times 1 minus cosine of x minus, similar for this thing, what's missing is 1 plus cosine x on the bottom, and then we've got to multiply the top and bottom are the same thing, so the top becomes sine x times 1 plus cosine x, right? And then from here, let's simplify the top of the bottom. It's 1 minus cosine square x. The reason is this, a square minus b square, what's referred as the difference of square, is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Conveniently, we have 1 plus this thing, 1 minus the same thing. So it's a plus b, a minus b. Therefore, it's a squared, which is 1 squared, which is 1, minus b squared, which is cosine x squared. And then from here, all we have to do is clean it up. Now, there's a couple ways you can clean up. You can multiply them out, or in my case, I'm going to pull the sine x out because it's common for both of them. Then I have 1 minus cosine x for the first term minus 1 plus cosine x. I'm very careful not to do the two steps in the same time. Now, if you don't have any trouble saying that this 1 becomes minus 1 and cosine x becomes minus cosine x, that's fine. Also, now on the exam, I often tell my students, slow is fast. Okay, the reason is that if you don't make a mistake, and then you don't have to go back correct it. So I much rather my students on the exam write this one more step. It looks tedious, but in the long run, it saves you more, much more time. All right, down here we have cosine x squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So therefore, moving the cosine x over, it has 1 minus cosine x squared is equal to sine x squared. We like that because Obviously, we have something we can cancel, right? And then let's clean up here, minus 1 cancels. So, so minus 2 cosine x on top, and sine x on the bottom. This one cancels one of them, right? So the final answer is minus 2 cotangent of x as the final answer. All right, that's how we handle simplifying trig expressions. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.